friends, Robin here with Natman and Robin, and I have another haul for you. I'm really excited about this haul. I got a lot of things I've never seen before. I got a lot of things on some great clearance, just regular clearance, not necessarily Christmas clearance. And then I did find a few things left um, for Christmas clearance. So let's get into it. I'm so excited for 2022. Um, I might have said 2021 earlier, I'm sorry. I'm still getting my head wrapped around 2022 because my brain is still stuck in 2019, right? Like before the pandemic. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm really excited about this year. And I am going to try my best to do more crafting for my boxes because I love crafting and our budget is tight and when I was at the fulfillment center I saw some really cute homemade items which homemade kind of sounds um, like I don't know when I think of my shoe boxes I think of brand new shiny colorful exciting things <coughs> but then when I was at the fulfillment center and I actually saw the homemade items, it just warmed my heart. Like thinking about things that my grandma had made for me and my aunts had made for me and just um, wanting to pass along that warmth, that feeling that someone spent time and effort to make this thing specifically for me. So with that being said, I've been watching some YouTube over here. Uh, by the way, this is on because it feels kind of dark and gloomy today. And so I wanted some more light and fake fireplace, right? Not the real fireplace, the fake one. Anyway, um, been watching some YouTube videos about how to make um, dolls, like out of um, like stuffy dolls, rag dolls, I guess is what you would call them. But um, I do have a sewing machine that I have never used <laughs> um, because I just got it last year for Christmas. And the only thing I've ever made using the sewing machine is actually uh, Mickey ears for when we go to Disney. I always make a set of ears for myself. And I've borrowed um, other people's sewing machines to do that. So I'm a super novice. I've used the sewing machine like three times. Um, but I'm gonna jump in there and I'm gonna try to make dolls this year. Um, I tell you that because this first set of stuff that I hauled is all for the dolls. The haul for the doll. Anyway, um, I got three bags of this snow fluff. It was originally $9.99. I got it for 90% off at the Hobby Lobby Christmas clearance. So that makes this giant um, bag of fluff $1. Um, so I hope that this will work for stuffing for my rag dolls. Fingers crossed. The next thing I found specifically for the dolls were a lot of fat quarters. Um, first at uh, Michael's, their stuff was still only 70% off, but I got two green fat quarters and two solid red fat quarters. Um, they were originally $1.99, so I paid $0.60 cents for this, which I think is a great deal. Um, then at Walmart, um, I've seen some people hauling some really great Christmas fat quarters for like $0.10. Cents. I didn't find any of those in any of my stores, but I did find some really good fat quarters that are not Christmas prints for a quarter. So these are the three prints that I found that are kind of girly and bright. Um, this one has like a beach scene and there's some palm trees. This one is definitely like tropical, but it's tropical flowers and a little bit of the ocean scene, but a lot more florally. And then this one is pink, um, Pineapples, that's what those are called. Pink pineapples all over. So these are the three prints that I got. They were all a quarter a piece, which I think is great. These are the three kind of bright florally prints. 
Then there were three blueprints. Um, haha, <laughs> a blueprint. This one is a blue tie dye. This one is a blue gingham. And this one is blue scales, uh, watery scales, whatever you want to call that. Mermaid tail scales. And then I found two greenish ones. This one is an argyle pattern, which is really cool. Um, and this one is like a plaid, a blue and green and brown plaid, uh, which is really cute. Then there were two animal patterns. This one, you know what, I'm gonna open these up just a little bit so we, we can see them better. They're kind of hard to see. Um, this one is puppy dog heads, really cute. And this one is puppies and kitties. So these are just the patterns I got. I did get several of each pattern. I bought all that they had um, because I think I'll probably make a few mistakes as I'm learning. And I'm glad to find some inexpensive but good quality fabric to make those mistakes with. Because if I don't make a mistake, then it's gonna be usable for those kiddos. <coughs> and that's all the stuff that I got specifically for the dolls that I'm hopefully gonna make sometime in the future. The rest of this is just a regular haul and I wanna get into that. Um, the first thing that I'll start with was Hobby Lobby. Now Hobby Lobby's items are 90% off and there still was quite a bit of stuff left. There were things that I could have, you know, stretched the imagination and put them in boxes. Um, there were a lot of home items that I did get like some Christmas napkins and some more decorations for our house. There were a lot of good things left. But the thing that I was really excited about to find for my boxes were these little dolls. They are so cute. Um, they are technically the kind of backpack dolls that you clip on. They are really adorable. They have cute little faces, cute dresses, and they're that really soft, not felt, but the stuff that those soft, cuddly blankets are made out of. Um, so there are three different styles. There's this style with the gold trim on her dress and gold angel wings. This style has the silver trim on her dress and silver angel wings. And this one is the Christmas colored one. She's got on a red and green dress and pink wings. Um, these were originally $9.99, which is insane. I would never, never pay that much for this tiny little doll, smaller than my small hand. Um, but they were 90% off, and so I did go ahead and grab them all for a dollar. I think I got 15 of them total, um, which is definitely a splurge for me to spend that much, but I loved them. I thought that they were great. They will be good as filler items. They will be good as, um, I can even put these in a large pencil packs, or um, maybe some of my boxes that are kind of stuffed full this will be a great, uh, you know, she can, her little legs can fold up and her arms can fold in. And when you take her tag off, she takes up almost no room. So those really full boxes, I can still get a stuffy or a toy in there. So I just, I thought these were fantastic. Um, and you might run to your local Hobby Lobby because they still had a ton of these. Just two days ago is when I got these, so. Um, and just so you know, it is, I believe it's December 6th, 2022. That's when I'm filming this. So I went on December 4th, maybe. Boo. I don't really remember. The next items are from Dollar Tree, and I'm so excited to show you these things. Um, I did get a couple of Valentine's items. I'm still holding out to see, um, I think... I'm, what I didn't show you here is I did get one pack of pencils from Dollar Tree. Um, but I already put them in the box that I'm making. And they were just colorful hearts. But they do have a lot of pencils. 
and um, they're starting to get in kind of the Valentine's classroom items, but I didn't find any that I needed yet, so I'm still waiting. But I did snag these cute little um, stuffies. I'll take them apart so that you can see them better. Um, oh, here comes Bella. Hey, Bells, what are you doing? There we go, they're so cute. And they're nice and flat, but they're really great quality. They have embroidered eyes and um, nose and mouth. And then they all have something embroidered either on the front of their tummy or on the side. There are four different um, characters, and I think these are great. So you get two in the package, depending on what your Dollar Tree is charging, either two for a dollar, which makes these 50 cents, or two for a dollar 25, which makes them like 65 cents-ish. Um, so I just, I thought these were great, great deal. Great quality, again, kind of like those angels. They will be good for pencil packs. They will be good for fillers or to fit in a stuffy that is nice and slim in maybe an overfull box. These next two things, I, they're just so cute. Um, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their stuffed animal game. In the past, I would have said not to get their stuffed animals. There's still some of them that you should definitely pass on. But this little bear, is such great quality. He is a fuzzy friends, um, and it, it's he's so soft, and he's got a lot of fluff in him. Again, with the embroidered eyes and face and cute little hearts on his feet and ears. They also had this really cute pink one. Now, these, for some reason, were not as great quality. I did have to dig a little to find a good one of this pink. Maybe it's that the pink material is not as good of quality as this light brown. Um, and then they also had a dark brown. So, um, I, I just am still impressed with the one I finally found that was great quality. And this one is just so, like, I don't know if you can kind of tell the difference. See how round and fluffy his head is? And this guy is still kind of squishied a little bit. Um, that's how all the pink ones were. They were all kind of like flat and sad looking, but, um, as far as the like construction goes, I'm really impressed with these. That is all the Valentine's items I found. Um, and then I found some more Barbie stuff, which makes me so excited because Barbie stuff is so expensive. I don't understand what happened to Barbie. She got bougie, and even her clothes are like $5 for one set of clothes, which is nutso because that's like more than I spend on real clothes for the boxes. So, Barbie, I'm sorry. But I found these four Barbie outfits. Like, Barbie brand. Where is it? Where does it say Barbie? There you go, on the top. Barbie brand. They are for the um, Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which was kind of pushed into 2021 and fraught with COVID drama. Um, but I, they did just now hit my Dollar Tree, so I thought I would show you. Here are two. Um, there is this red jumper suit with blue shoes and purple sunglasses there. And then here is this blue track suit with an arm cuff and some black cat-eyed sunglasses. Really cute. Here is this skirt with the little character on it. Um, and it comes with a yellow cuff, no, a yellow watch and a green purse. Really cute. And finally, so like these three were all red, white, and blue. And I kind of assumed, okay, like Team USA for the Tokyo Olympics. But then there's this random blue, like a tennis outfit. Um, I don't know, blue and green and yellow. Maybe it's for Australia. Hey, my Aussie friends. Um, but I really like these shoes. They're platform, which is really cool right now. Not that I would know, but um, anyway, I thought these were great. Even at $1.25, um, I will take $1.25 
licensed Barbie items, clothing all day long. So um, I bought all that they had. Sometimes I feel guilty for doing that because I wanna leave stuff on the shelf for others, but this time I was like, nope, they're all coming with me. Uh, these were the four different outfits that I found and I think I, there were like 10 total, so. The next things are sensory items, and these are new to me at Dollar Tree. I have not seen these specific sensory items. Um, this is from the Orb brand again, and that is the one that did the little poppers, um, you know, the like two inch by two inch bubble poppers. But these ones are bracelets, and the bracelets attach to themselves, but then they are zippered in between. So when you have it on your wrist here, you're able to run the zipper back and forth and back and forth, but it never comes undone because it is attached to the two clips. So I thought these were real trendy and cute and will be great for some teen girl boxes. And then I found new actual bubble poppers. These are the large ones. Um, and this is the brand, so this is what they look like. They are in plastic baggies with the uh, cardboard top. And this is um, the same brand that did the like the um, pull apart sensory toys that kind of look like giant straws. This is that brand. So um, bubble snap, and these are pops. So I found this blue whale tail one, which will go great in my nautical themed box. I found um, a yellow heart. Now they had um, each of these designs in all of the colors that they had, which I think were yellow, pink, blue, and either green or orange. There were four colors and I can't remember what the fourth one was. I only got three colors. So um, this yellow heart, this, pink uh, octagon, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what shape this is. Um, Multi-sided multi thing, um, but really cute. I got a blue square. Look how many poppers are on this. This is bigger than the other big ones that I found like at back to school time. And then a circle. They also had the shape of a car, but they only had pink ones left in my store and I didn't want to put a pink car. I didn't want a pink girl popper. Pink car popper. There we go. Um, I am gonna open, I'll open this one and we'll check out the quality of the popper. Ooh, these are, I think these are better quality than the last ones. They are really thick plastic. Um, so I'm pushing them, this top row in, and the rest of them are unpopped. And they do have that satisfying pop sound. Um, so these are really great quality. Um, they may be even better quality than the ones they had last go around. Um, they are having a hard time staying popped one way. I guess because it is such thick plastic, it's wanting to pop back to its original shape. Anyway, that's the new poppers. I really like them. They're great for $1.25, um, which with tax in my area, if you buy one item, it ends up being $1.35. So when I'm going around looking at things, I really consider that before I purchase them because um, my favorite dollar store called Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. Their items are $1.50. And so now I'm really weighing that um, because Daiso is such great quality that I'm holding um, Dollar Tree to that standard. The next items I found are some superhero items, which I'm really impressed with. Way to go, Dollar Tree. Um, this is, they're all Justice League. Um, and these little, I don't know what you call this shape of stuffed animal, but um, there is Wonder Woman, and I think, you know, she's really great. 
She is just printed on like um, soft material, but I still think it's great quality. And she does have these little feetsies, which is high quality felt. Here is Superman. Again, the same with the high quality felt and the really great printing. And Batman, and he has ears. I guess that's what these are called, bat ears and feet. So he has two little extensions. Again, really great printed quality. I like his little smile. All from the Justice League way to go Dollar Tree. Um, they also had in the same bin, there were these three characters for Justice League. Um, there was a SpongeBob and a Squidworth and a Patrick. And then um, a Ryan from Ryan's World and his little companion, which I don't know what kind of an animal it is, but it was Ryan's World companion. So, And then they did get a new shipment of the magic towels, which around Christmas time gets quite depleted because I know a lot of families put these in their stockings. So I did pick up um, another superhero girls because these are hard to find for me. I picked up a Superman because I did not have a Superman one. And this really adorable action fighting uh, Batman. He's really cute. So those were the superhero items I found. Um, oh, I didn't show you the backs of these. This is the back of Superman. This is the back of Wonder Woman. And this is the back of Batman. Look at his little cape. So cute. Good job, superhero items at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> then I found some Disney items. These were new to me. Um, they were $1.25 for one pen, which is quite expensive, but that's okay because this one is a multi-click pen. And I believe there are there's red, yellow, green, black, purple, and blue ink in this pen. And this one is Mickey Mouse. This one is Minnie Mouse, and they were so cute. So I got um, both of these. And these do have on the back um, here, it says peach tree. So this is a Dollar Tree item, which means they should be available um, nationwide in Dollar Trees. You just have to hit it at the right time and hope no one has gobbled them all up. The next Disney items that I found, well, I guess they're really Pixar, but that's Disney to me, were these uh, Monster Ink toys. Um, there is, this is Sully and Mike and Boo. Um, so these are the three main characters. They did have several other characters that I left there, but um, I wanted to grab these three characters. The main reason I did that is because a lot of items at Daiso are um, Monsters, Inc. So it will be really um, easy for me to find some really cute items and make a Monsters, Inc. box. So way to go, Dollar Tree. These are really cute toys. And I am glad you had them. I've never seen these before. And then I found this adorable Baby Yoda bag. So I got two because I do have two Star Wars bags that I'm working on. And if you are working on a Star Wars bag, be on the lookout because this is super cute. Um, and then the ends are just uh, bright green. And the handles are um, sewn in here so I can't pull them out, but they are the same bright green. And there's the, the hook. Great job, again, Dollar Tree, this is adorable. And then this book, I think it's so cute, The Scarlet Dragon. I do wanna try to do a knight and dragon um, box. This has been on my mind recently. Um, look at those amazing illustrations. The whole page is illustrated. Such a great illustration. Anyway, doing a dragon box has been on my mind and I just haven't bit the bullet. So this is the first item that I have purchased for that future box. We'll see if it ends up being 
a 2022 or a 2023. It really just depends on if I find enough items to go in the box. Then these last items are um, some Christmas items that I recently, very recently found at Dollar Tree. So I did a little short. Um, I walked into a Dollar Tree and they had just gotten a fresh shipment of all Christmas items. So on the aisles, like each aisle had an entire um, pallet of Christmas items still in their cardboard boxes. And they just had big 50% off signs on it. Like they wanted people to buy the entire box type thing. Um, so I did open a few of those boxes. Most of the stuff was wall decor or bows or bags or wrapping paper but there were a few that were coloring books and erasers and um stuffed animals so i did get this stuffy now i did say earlier that i don't always recommend dollar tree stuffed animals and this would be one of those that i don't recommend that you purchase for a dollar 25. I just think that they're kind of, you know, there's no stuffing in the arms or the legs and the clothing is, you know, pretty thin and um, I just, I would not recommend paying $1.25 for this. However, 50 cents, yes, I will pay 50 cents for this and include it with another doll that is maybe a little better quality so that they have two to play with. Um, so I did get this one. She is cute, but it is to go with another doll that I found that I will show you from another store. And then in the um, clearance section, I also found these socks that were 75 cents. They're brand new. They just, the clippy came off of them. Um, and so they're cute. They are these gnomes, obviously never been worn. They're bright white but I thought they were cute Christmas socks, so I went ahead and purchased those. And then the rest of these are coloring books, and I got several of each of these. Um, I got like 20 of these fun pads, because these fit in almost every shoe box, just down in the bottom, and it takes up very little space, but you don't have to bend it up around the edges because it is small. Um, and then the images in here, are all Christmas images. Uh, Double-sided, great, cute stuff. Um, so these Christmas fun pads, and these are the different versions. Um, they all have the same papers in them, but that is what the different covers look like. So I did get like 20 of these. And then um, this, I love this, dress them up snowman and dress them up Santa. So um, it is just a really great quality coloring book with some of the images. See like his little scarf up there and his mittens are um, dotted lines and his hat. Those things are dotted lines and what you're supposed to do is come to the middle here, find the corresponding sticker and stick it on the dotted line, which I think is a great fun. So I got several of these snowmans. There was only one Santa left, so I picked him up of these books. And then there were a ton of coloring books. So I only got um, the licensed character one because I, I, there, I could not buy them all. I had to pick. So I picked the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one this is the cover of one, and this is the cover of the other. I got several of each of these. They are the same theme inside, um, obviously to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but the pages are different. I will show you, for example, this is the back page of the blue book, and this is the back page of the Santa book, but, um, it's the same theme and they're still great quality. Um, and this is the back of those coloring books with the other characters. So I picked up a lot of these. 
And um, I'm just telling you people, keep looking, because it's, it's still out there and going and going and going. The next thing I got, um, these are all items from Michael's, which was having their clearance event. Um, and they advertisement, advertise it as 80% off. However, um, not everything in the store is 80% off. There were, um, an, there was an aisle of 80% off and then some center aisle rounds, I guess you would call them. I don't know what they call them of items that were just clearance. They didn't, it didn't say like, 30, 40, 80, they just had clearance stickers on them with the price. And I didn't, I wasn't gonna do the math because I think it was individual for each item. Um, but then the Christmas stuff was 70% off. So I'm, I'm hoping that it goes down to more like 90 and I'll go back and get some of the uh, more expensive craft kits that they still had available. But I did pick up some things. So I picked up um, about 10 of these really adorable ballerinas. Um, so they're advertised as ornaments that you put a photo in. But what I'm gonna do is print out a bunch of, almost like an emoji, like just the um, face part of, an, of emotions, and then um, cut them into circles and put them inside this little like slot there. So the little girl will have a felt doll that she can change the face. That's my plan. My little crafty up of these really cute um, ornaments that ended up being 60 cents each. Um, hold on just one moment. Boop. Ah, I needed to get a drink. I've been talking too much, imagine that. And then I got these, which is, these are so cute. I can't, I couldn't believe these were Christmas. Um, and I think that there were so many there because they don't look Christmassy. It just looks like a regular Michael's crafting item. But if you look above this craftology is the word Christmas Noel. So that's how I knew they were Christmas and they were 70% off these four dollars so I think that means I paid a dollar twenty for 580 beads I bought so many of these and I've already broken most of them down into uh, bead kits for filler um, and then also these elastics they were again a dollar twenty each um, what I did is I opened these up and I cut the cardboard in half and I put the blue with a kit and the white with a kit. Um, so these were a great deal and I really hope there are some left when they hit 90% off and I go back to Michael's. Um, this doll is so cute. She was originally $4.99. So I did pay like $1.50 for her. And this is the one that I said um, I got this other doll for 50 cents to kind of go in the same box. So she would have two dolls to play with. Um, this one is obviously much better quality, but they could still live in the same world and be friends. Um, I also, I'm looking for more Christmas things. This sticker book was originally $2, so I got it for 60 cents. And it has... A sheet of pink gnomes and yellow and ooh, come on blue and then it repeats pink yellow blue three stickers you get 33 foil stickers and 264 flat stickers um, which I think is a great deal for 60 cents I bought all that they had which I think was only like four I think there were four of these left. And then I got this set of cards. Um, they are cards that open up like regular cards. They have a silver foil and a blank front. They also are blank on the inside. And then the envelopes that they go in are a navy blue with sil silver foil. And what I do with these is I use these to write my little notes to my kiddos, um, my 
letters uh, and put them in their boxes. So these were originally $5, which means I paid $1.50 for 18 really high quality cards and I am okay with that. My hope is that I will be able to put a sticker on the front in this blank spot of maybe whatever the theme is in their box and then open it up and write the personal letter to them. Uh, the other Christmas items that I got was this really cute crafting angel and I can just pop this whole thing into a box or send these in as filler. I only found three of these um, and it was $1.20. And um, it does come with double-sided adhesive stickers. Um, so no glue, just double-sided adhesive, which I thought was great. And then I picked up a few of these. Um, they're great. This one is a little snowman, if that'll focus for you. And this one is a little reindeer. And they ended up being 90 cents each. So I bought all that I could find of these, which I think is a great little kit for a dollar. And then the last Christmas item from Michaels were these, I, they're just gorgeous. These beads up here are stunning. Um, these two are the same, just slightly different shades. Uh, this one is clear beads. These are pearls. You also get some seed beads, which I never see in these kits. And then this circle here, it's hard to tell in the video, but it is full of um, that elastic cording. So these ended up being $3, which is still kind of, um, you know, a wow item. But I think this is definitely a wow item. And I bought all they had, which was four. There were four left. And then the last two items um, that I have to show you are were from the 80% aisle. Now, what the 80% aisle was, this, this shocked me. I went into this specific Michaels two weeks before Christmas to get some Christmas crafting items that I needed. And they had 75% off all of their fall... Um, Halloween and Dia de los Muertos items. So I picked through it. It was pretty gone through. There wasn't much left. I got one bag of stickers and that was it. But this entire aisle at Michael's that was 80% off was all Halloween, all fall, all Dia de los Muertos items. The entire aisle, which I am assuming here, this is a big assumption that that means that they got in another shipment of Halloween items after Christmas. Because they've been, they've been advertising this 80% off clearance event since like the 26th and I just was too sick to go in. I went in on January 4th, which means there had been almost 10 days of people shopping this 80% off clearance event and they still had an entire aisle of Halloween items. So I'm thinking that means that this might continue with Christmas things. I already saw evidence of that at Dollar Tree and I saw evidence of the Halloween post holiday shipment at Michael's. So I know we felt like this year was lacking in items, but I think maybe that just means that the containers haven't gotten here yet and we're gonna get some Christmas in July discounts. So. The few things that I got, I did get a ton of Dia de los Muertos stickers, but I already busted into them and split them up. These were all foam stickers. There were like 260 stickers in this big foam bag. Um, and most of them were flowers. And then there were six like Dia de los Muertos themed stickers that I would not be able to use um, because they are very holiday specific for the Mexican culture and I cannot ensure that my boxes go to Mexico. So um, I will not be including those. They were like the sugar skulls and some skeleton cats and some skeleton puppies, which were really cute. I just don't want to include them because they're holiday specific for a specific country. Um, and then the other items were a lot of decor items. But there were some costume items, so I did go ahead and pick up 
these are really cute Wonder Woman, I guess they're gloves, but I think they call them something else. Like I think they call them her gauntlets when they're right here. Uh, I could be wrong, I don't really know, but I thought they were really cute and they ended up being $2. So I thought that was a great deal for my Superhero Girl box. And then they had a ton of these, um, which they are glow party packs. So it comes with two rings down here, um, a glow stick, I, um, one of these, they're like sunglasses. And then one, two, three, four, five, six bracelets, which is a great deal. And they were, I wanna say these were like 30 or 60 cents. I could do the math, but I'm not good at it on cue. They were $3 originally and 80% off. So I bought all that they had. They had purple, which I'm showing you here, green and orange. Um, but there's nothing about this that says Halloween to me. There's nothing scary on it. These are just gonna be some really great fillers that I will send in. So, if you have a Michaels, you might wanna go to it and see if they too are having this crazy Halloween renaissance in the middle of January. And the very last things I have, I know this is a long video, but I missed you guys and I did a lot of shopping. So, we're gonna talk about it. This is a haul from Walmart. Um, all of these, I believe, yeah, there's no Christmas. Well, there's one Christmas item. I did get this mini ribbon, which was originally $2.98. I got it at 75% off, which means I paid 75 cents for this really pretty pink ribbon, which I think will actually go with doll making. So that's the plan with this really pretty pink ribbon. Um, then regular price, I got these Reach toothbrushes. There are six in here and this was $2.98. So $3 which makes each toothbrush about 50 cents and it does come with a cap except for this one. I don't know why they give you one without a cap but it's okay because I have some extra caps. So there are these and they do come in this dark color um, where the, the neck of the toothbrush is this dark gray or where the neck of the toothbrush is a white. Same um, handle colors, just different neck colors. Uh, <laughs> choked up, so emotional. Just kidding, I really did get choked up. Um, these are the finger puppets that I normally get. Um, they are eight, eight of them in here for one dollar. So that makes them like 15 cents-ish a piece, right? Ooh, I'm so bad at math. I need to get a calculator and just put it here so I can quit embarrassing myself with math on YouTube because it's easy, basic, like first grade math that I'm failing at in front of you, and I'm sorry. But these are the ones I like to get. Um, I know you can get them on Amazon in bulk, but um, I just pick one of these up. Every time I go to Walmart, it kind of spreads out the cost for me and I still think that they are really affordable and cheaper than Dollar Tree now. Um, also in the party section, this was new to me, I'd never seen this, are dress up capes. There are six in here. There are two black and two blue and two red. And this was $6, which makes them come out to a dollar a piece, which again is now cheaper than Dollar Tree for me. Um, I wanna look at this with you. I wanna see the quality of it. Um, so here is the cape. They are quite short. I would not say this, this cape here looks longer to me, but I still think you get the idea uh, of the imaginative play with the cape. And um, they, it has a nice Velcro attachment up here. And it is good quality fabric, you know. So I, I'm, not, I'm not mad about it. I think you probably can get a better deal online, um, like on Amazon or something. But I love the hunt. I love picking things up physically, so I am okay with this. 
I might even be able to make some felt um, logo and put on here like for Batman or for Black Panther um, or maybe like you know Spider-Man or Wonder Woman or Superman you know zhuzh them up a little bit but for a dollar not a terrible buy I only have two more items this I found in the clearance section I found a whole lot of pink ones earlier this year and then um, when I went through my aisle this time, there were two of these gray ones. These are those um, pencil bags right here that turn into full on high quality backpacks. So when you open up the bag, it is shaped like this. You still can use the pencil bag on the front. Nothing changes about that, but the drawstring bag comes out and you have the best of both worlds in my opinion. Um, it was still $2.50, which is the same that it was several weeks ago. I just finally found some gray ones, not pink. And the very last thing that I got were these combs. Um, I normally get combs from Dollar Tree, but again, since the price has gone up, and I feel like the combs were, you know, meh quality for a dollar, I didn't want to pay more um, more for that quality. So I am trying these. These were from Walmart. They were $3 and you get 12 in here, I believe. Yes, 12 combs, which they do have a 12 pack at Dollar Tree, but they're really flimsy. So this is, um, the quality. This is a really good quality. It's the blue one. And then there are several, there are two of this smaller size. Again, really good quality, like I can't accidentally fold it in half. Um, two bluish colors. And then there are, there is this comb, which is excellent quality. Really thick, really great comb. You get two of these little, I call them rat tail combs. I don't know what they're actually called, but they help you make parts. Um, for little girls that want pigtails or braids in their hair. These are amazing combs and they're really good quality like I mean it bends it gives a little but I'm not able to like fold it in half like the ones at Dollar Tree like I am pushing down and nothing is happening and then you get I think four no six of these little black combs which are great for boys. This is probably the weakest um this is definitely the weakest one in the bunch. But again, this would probably be the highest quality one in the one from Dollar Tree. So I, I like these bags of combs and I will probably be repurchasing them. Um, I just wanted to look at the quality on here with you. Anyway, that is it for my gigantic, very long haul. Um, I am so excited for this year. It's been a rough, couple weeks for me um you guys are my friends and I can just let you know that uh, Matt and I are fine like our relationship is great we are a very happily married couple um but there's just been some family issues that we've been dealing with and I have been going to some pretty intensive trauma therapy <laughs> um just for icky things that happened in my past and that's, it's, it's been a really hard few weeks. So if you are inclined to, and it, if, if it is in your belief system, if you could be praying for me, I really need it right now. Um, it's just been kind of hard. So coming on here and getting to like escape for almost an hour with you is a lot of fun. And if you've watched this long, you're amazing because I just bought a bunch of stuff and I'm talking about it, but I really feel like um, it's sitting down with friends at a table and talking about our hobby. So I just wanted to thank you because it makes me feel not alone. Um, I love you guys. You are a great community and um, just thank you for your thoughts and prayers at this kind of difficult time for me. 
anyway, that being said, um, I really do love you guys. I love you lots, and I just wanted you to know that in case no one has told you today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!